What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And just as promised, I told you guys I was going to change my team again. Now we're going to be adding this Miles Garrett. Now, this dude right here, the whole thought process was we were going to actually use him at D tackle. I'm going to let you guys understand a couple things that EA Sports did when we had that issue with the, um, the nasty streak with the offensive linemen. EA Sports made it so when you play out of position players in certain positions, they don't play as well. So this guy, he, you know, you're going to see the gameplay in a second, but he's not going to be as good as Sap. All right. We're going to then like, I'm not going to rage sell him though for the time being, because the 98 overall uh, power pass, we're not really using it on anybody. So it doesn't, you know, I don't need to rush. It's only training. Yes, we could go back and get our training back at least half of it, but it doesn't really benefit us right now to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hold on to him and leave him at his natural position. And we're going to bench Joey Bosa for now because he's overall at this point better than Joey Bosa. So I just want to point that out. I would prefer that you guys go ahead and keep certain players where they're supposed to be. And at this time, Warren Sapp, I, I don't know what it is. It's something about the card. I can't explain it. It's still a very, very solid card. So we went ahead and upgraded this guy just because, you know, I figured out when I was doing one of the other videos, like, yo, this dude's numbers are insane. He has to be a really good player. Let's go ahead and check it out. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys how he compares. Now, you can see basically what's going to happen is I'm going to scroll down to Warren Sapp. He's bigger. Okay, he's faster, he's stronger, but there's something about Warren Sapp, maybe his weight, I don't know, listen, I don't know what it is, but Miles Garrett is also built kind of viciously, and in fact, the gameplay we're gonna go in right now, my opponent's gonna have him, and you're gonna be able to see, like, this guy is outrageous. Now remember, when you have abilities on your D-line, the more abilities on the players, the better they're obviously going to perform. So sometimes they'll be a lot better if there's a combination of a certain amount of players. But I will recommend a couple things to you guys so that we're on the same page. Be very, very careful because remember, once the offense breaks that middle, um, you know, like the inside of your, your D-line, if you don't have safeties back there that can make big hits, you, you're done. Making the conservative tackle in Madden 20 is a joke. You have to be able to do a lot of things when somebody breaks a run because a lot of games are won and lost off big hits. Now, you can always manually hit stick somebody, but why do that when, you know, the enforcer is there? You know, click off, let the computer do whatever he wants, and, you, you know, pretty much you're going to get uh, very, very good animations if you let the CPU do it. So that's everything that's going on with Miles Garrett right there. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into the actual gameplay. Now, I want you guys to kind of focus on what I'm going to be showing you as far as his impact. Because the one thing I can tell you, Warren Sapp gets trucked rarely. Usually it's like a dude comes out running on aggressive and then like 30 people line up and try to gang up on him and he does certain, you know, it's like weird. He, It's not typical action that he is, you know, a guy that gets like pushed back. Warren Sapp, right? In this right here, Miles Garrett, they're going to be able to maneuver and hold him up in a different way that I've never seen Sapp actually you know get held up but he also is going to be able to get a lot of those animations where he gets the insta sheds because he has that 99 strength he has that 99 power move so he's going to get that you know very very similar animation in certain cases just so that you guys understand it but right here look look, look at look at him that that's his miles garrett now look he kept him at his natural position so you see like how he's continuing to scream and doing whatever he wants. It's really, really wild what's going on. But I want you guys to understand he has three D linemen. He has three D linemen with abilities. Okay, so it was like a nightmare. But again, when people come out doing that stuff, the one thing you have to understand is you have to, you know, pretty much evaluate the way that you're going to pass and the sets that you come out in because they're gambling, saying to themselves, look, you know what? I'm going to make it impossible for this guy to get the ball off if he passes. Then after that, you know, they actually have, you know, the run stopper and all that stuff. So you see how Miles Garrett is breaking through and he's about to come in there. The reason that I stop it is because the way he breaks through, notice how he doesn't continue on to help make the play. And he's faster than Warren Sapp, but he still doesn't continue throughout the play to help make the play. So this is a very, very key factor that I want you guys to understand. You're gonna get the animations, but do you see his body? It's not as big, it's not as wide. So it's easier for them to then go back and double block him and be over there again, as opposed to like Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp is coming right there, bro. So it kind of delays it, but he still gets the animation. And that's what I want you guys to understand. Yes, you know, when you give somebody an X-Factor and ability, they're gonna do certain things, but you can see clearly, 
he's getting thrown to the side, to the left, to the right. He's not the best guy to have at D tackle. So, you know, pretty much if you were to have him and keep him, you know, at his natural position, right end or left end or whatever, it probably would be more, it probably would make more sense because Sap eats up every single center. He just eats them up like it's not even, bro, I don't even know why they stand in front of him. The dude is a monster. He does whatever he likes. And it's very, very easy for him to do that because he has those specific abilities and everything else that, you know, makes him such a bad player. You know, like he's bad, like he's a dog, like the, like he's ready to go. Oh, what is it? You see what's going on right here? Now look, I wanna point out what just happened with that. He didn't send the same amount of pressure and he thought that his D line would do the same things. Now, remember this, right? For the most part, when you send players after the quarterback, right? Just because your guys have, uh, you know, abilities, it doesn't mean that, you know, all of a sudden your old line is just gonna stand there like, yo, come in. It's not gonna happen like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna still have to do certain things to make those players come in. So he has to actually blitz everybody to get that same type of pressure that you saw earlier on in the video. And then now when I start to like space it out, you know, run a couple of dives, do different things, it's harder for him to keep all those guys doing that stuff. So you guys gotta understand that when you see a psycho running around with all of his abilities on the D line, you gotta know that when you throw the ball in the air, if you can make certain reads, it's gonna be touchdowns. All right, the issue is getting the ball up, which is for me right now, I'm like, yo, I'm not taking no more chances because the dude is screaming, like everybody's coming in. So as long as he blitzed everybody, it's gonna be almost impossible to stop the blitz of you know, the onslaught that's coming in because it's too many people coming in there. Now, right here, there's a straight duck, it's a double team, right? Directly on Miles. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, when you have Warren Sapp, for those of you guys that have him and utilize him with abilities, you're not standing Warren Sapp up with a double team. Like you're not gonna stand him up. The dude is still gonna be actively coming after the quarterback. I don't know, again, I don't know exactly why that is, but you can't do nothing with Warren Sapp. He is coming right inside of the line with no problems at all. Over here, like I said, the double team does not matter. Just so that we understand each other. You might say, oh yeah, but Jima, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a double team, they're supposed to stop him. No, it doesn't stop Warren Sapp. Now right here, he's gonna get double blocked. He's gonna get held up right here, and then they're gonna come back and block him again. Again, another no-no. So, what Miles Garrett, I can tell you guys right now, like a sneak peek, when I put him back at his natural position, and I had Warren Sapp with abilities, he played unbelievable. You see what I'm saying? Because that that's where he's supposed to be. That's where he needs to be. And Warren Sapp needs to do what Warren Sapp does. So, regardless of what you guys are thinking about doing, uh, as far as Michael Strahan, I don't think it would be a smart idea now that I've seen what this guy does. Even though Michael Strahan's body is probably a little bit different, I think it'll be the, it'll yield the same result. Now I did play one one guy that had uh, Michael Strahan at D tackle with abilities, like I suggested, and he was screaming the entire game. And again, right here, you see he sent everybody again. He's sending eight. It was three guys. Look, nine. He just sent nine. But you know what? All I need is a second to get the ball off. You know what I'm saying? That's all I really need. You give me a second, we going for six. You know, we gonna pick. You. Oh, bunny hop. All right, cool. And then we're gonna pick your moms up when we're done with that. So again, it just takes you a little bit of time to understand when people send everybody and they have abilities on their D line, what you saw in the beginning of the video, you're gonna have to kind of get them out of that. You're gonna have to run the ball a little bit, you know, maybe, um, you know, try different variations of trying to make sure you get a little bit more pass protection by motioning players over and stuff like that. But you're going to need, to, you're gonna to need to make adjustments because these cycles, I've been seeing it more and more. Probably there's some savage animal that's putting out an ebook like, yo, bro, put put all your D, put all your D linemen with abilities. Like it's the dumbest thing ever, but if it works for you, go ahead and do it. But you're not gonna have the advantage of clean up with like what, you know, you just saw Tillman do. You're not gonna have the advantage of all of this. Okay, of having these players be able to make these type of plays in the clutch. You just have to deal with it. If a guy gets to the second level, you are going to be dealt with accordingly and it is nothing you can do about it. Well, it is. You can just bend over, let EA have their way with you, but I don't know how many of you guys are going to do that. But again, you, can, you see what they're doing to Miles Garrett? You know, that hit stick, we got the ball out. Miles Garrett is getting held up in the middle. It can't, can't work, bro. It can't work. Right there, he just pushed him out of the way. He's coming in and then somebody else came over. The difference with that, you see what happened, that read was horrific, but Sap, if you would, if that would have happened, Sap would still be coming directly in. Now, I don't know if it's because he's too fast and EA doesn't want him to like shoot the gap, but that, that happened the entire game. So we had to do what was right. After this game, we took the abilities off of him and we moved him back to his natural position as this guy fumbles and we pick his moms up. Um, 
that's pretty much where it's gonna go. So we're not gonna raid sell him right now. I wouldn't look to that at this moment to raid sell him. Um, if there is another card that comes out with a 98 that we want, maybe we go ahead and do that. But that, I don't think we're gonna raid sell Miles Garrett because he's still at this time better than uh, you know Nick Bosa. All right, I don't know if I said Joey Bosa earlier, but you know Nick Bosa, their brothers, whatever. Um, it is what it is. So now moving forward, uh, I think what we're gonna do is just adjust that. Miles Garrett will stay at right end. We'll put Sat back with abilities in the middle, and then we'll keep uh, Julius Peppers on the other side at left end, and then we'll go forward with that. That's pretty much where we are right now. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the gameplay. If you are, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, stay home. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love.